I'm looking at running a cartridge alignment on a DesignJet 450C. Uh, you'd normally run this if you just replaced a cartridge or you're experiencing jagged or step lines. So first thing to do uh, is to load an A4 sheet of paper. Make sure that the media source is actually set to sheet. Get your A4 sheet of paper in portrait mode. And just press the load button. So we've got our A4 sheet of paper now loaded. It has to be A4 and it has to be a sheet. It won't work on roll, won't work on other media. You'll just end up with a media error. Um, now if you're experiencing the black lines that are stepped or jagged, then we need to run a black alignment cartridge page. And to do that, all we do, go to the control panel, press setup and form feed together. Hold them in for a second and release. That will now produce the black alignment sheet. Having produced the alignment sheet, now we all, all we need to do is really follow the instructions that are on the sheet and look for the best, the best match, the straightest line and see if there's any alterations that are needed. This particular one needed an alteration here. So what I've done is I've shaded in the, the checkbox there and what we'll do is we'll now pop that back into the design jet. So we've got our amended alignment sheet ready to be loaded back in the design jet. Okay, so what we do, face down with the red arrow pointing into the machine. Okay, align to the dotted line there and just load the car, load the sheet of paper. So the alignment sheet's now loaded and what I've done is I've overridden the sensor just by jamming a little bit of card in on that sensor there just so we can see exactly what the design jet does. Um, so what we do, it's loaded, now we just need to press the setup button. What the design jet will now do, it will come along and it will just have a look at that sheet and there's a code printed on that sheet that tells the design jet it's a black cartridge alignment page so it'll then know where to look to see whether any of the values have changed so, recognised it, now it's jumping across looking at each of those little uh, check boxes there to see if any of them are changed it's picked up a change there so the carriage will now come across and actually prints a little tick just to indicate that it's recognised the fact that it's changed. I'll scan this sheet in so you can see it, see it at the end of the video. You might be able to make out there that there's just a little tick mark there now. 